everyone, Edgy Berserker back with Tekken 7. We left off with Fang, now we're doing law, baby. Let's see Law's story. Uh, preoccupied with paying off his son's debts, Marshall Law didn't realize how many of his students had quit this JoJo until it was almost too late. Large sums still to repay, Law was running out of ideas. As a last resort, he decided to search for a capable fighter to run the dojo. He asked his friend Paul if he knew anyone, and in his usual manner, Paul said he himself would be perfect candidate. However, thinking that the dojo would go bust in half a day if Paul took control, Law politely refused. Instead, he put a word out of strong fighters that want to try out for the job. They should come and prove their skills in combat. Challenger after challenger appeared, but none of them were good enough for Law. Then, one day, Law heard a rumor about a martial artist living in rural China was set to be the next god fist master. Seeing this as his best chance yet, Law set off for his ancestral homeland. Alright, let's go, baby. Come and get some. Lot of time. Round one. Oh, and it's where we got the rest of this story. Alright. Let's go. Yeah, like I said, it's just literally like one match and that's it. KO. Which is crazy. Two. That's Fight. crazy. And it's like, I just reminded myself why I was disappointed with story mode so much. Because it's like, oh, because it literally was that. When they could have just tacked that on at the end of arcade mode, honestly. Didn't even need to be a separate thing. But what do I know? <laughs> Anyways, let's watch. Oh, friends for eternity. Loyalty. Honesty. We'll stick together through thick or thin. Friends forever. We'll be together. We're on top because we stand to win. Ooh. Thing's pretty cool, though. Damn. Whoa, Paul. Friendship. Bros. Bro, bro? Oh, shit. Got demon mode. Run away! <laughs> Biddly bink de bink boing. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. All right, we're here. We're ready to rock. Check out his other stuff. You know what? You know what? We're putting him Marshall inside Law. a leopard print suit. <laughs> or snake Get print. I also set it to one round for these. So, yeah. Either way, though, we're getting more hands on this time around. Which is great. Because, uh, yo, three minutes of playtime, that ain't enough. <laughs> that ain't enough. Brimstone and fire. Come and get ah, here we go. My custom music came in here. God, that's a good suit. <laughs> I became a badass biker, everyone. Final round. <laughs> Fight. All right, let's go. Me and my cool ass suit kicking ass. Damn right. Whoop. Okay. Law is law. Still fun to play, damn it. <laughs> you win. Promoted, baby. <laughs> My name is Edgy Berserker, and I really like this game, okay? <laughs> Get ready for the next battle. Up oh, knock this time. Again, I like your game, Noctis. <laughs> it's cool, though, seeing some of the guest characters pop up. And just this arcade mode. That's pretty rad. Honestly, I just... I like it. I like this game a lot, y'all. Again, the individual character story stuff could have just been a uh, bumper for arcade mode. It could have easily been the intro and then just move into the bumper, you know? And then 
gonna call it a day, I guess, but well, what do I know? <laughs> but again, I don't think they focused on more a lot. They cared more about the uh, FGC portion of it. This isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just, you know, I'm a lore person. I want lore, damn it. <laughs> Give me content. SNK gave me content. They gave me a lot of content. <laughs> All right, G Corp Helipad. Oh, I think I put my uh, Kazia theme that I love so much on there, too. I love Tekken 2's music a lot. <laughs> Everyone who watched the Toshin Den Tuesday stream would understand that for sure. <laughs> I... Come and get some. Oh, wow. Uh, well, it's snowing. Final it's now thundering. That's crazy. Fight. Okay. Anyways, let's get this panda. Panda Chan. No, it wasn't this one. It'd be the more nighttime version, I think. Whoop. Help. Oh, God. Panda Chan. Panda Chan looks fucking adorable in this one, though. I'll give her that. <laughs> what a cute little panda friend. Hey, Hachi time. Off to the Hey, Hachi Dojima Dojo. Hey, Hachi Dojima. Mishima Dojo. I misread that so badly. <laughs> I am so sorry. But am I? Okay, <laughs> let's go. Fight. Okay. Ooh. There you go, Heihachi. How you liking that? Oh, you didn't like that at all. That's fine. I think I was starting his big combo and I didn't know how to finish it. Whoop. Let's get him. Yeah! Got him! That was a good win. That was a good win. That was a good win. I like that one. Kazumi! At the Devil's Pit. I think this one will make me fight uh, two rounds no matter what. Unless they're just going to start off with Demon Kazumi. I can see that happening too. <laughs> I'm a little curious Round about that. One. Oh yeah, they're going to make me do two. Fight. Just like with uh, Nameless and Tekken Tag Tournaments 2. Actually, it feels nice playing Tekken on here again though. Whoa! Whoa! Come on. Come on. Oh my god. Tiger uppercut. Oh, she's too good. Oh! Double KO! <laughs> That's so hype! <laughs> oh, that is hype as shit. We're not skipping by this part. We need to see the demon arise. We skip by the other ones, though. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> All right, let's go. Woo, okay. Wonder if we're gonna get another double KO. <laughs> Fight. Ooh, that was too much tiger, tiger uppercut. Oh shit, okay. This is the Kazumi I recognize. This difficultness. Okay, this will help at least a little bit. Got her. Yes. We did good. We did good, everyone. That was Lee. Uh, we got a nice little hands-on with him. I think we did all right overall which is good because uh yo that does not give me enough time to showcase the character story mode yeesh <laughs> anyways this is edgy berserker signing off on tekken 7 next episode i'll see y'all later bye now <laughs>